Well, it seems like it's cold outside today. So, I don't want a chainsaw carve. And, um, I got this first growth red cedar here. Western red cedar. Look how tight that grain is. Look how tight that grain is. <laughs> so, this piece, this piece I have, then I slice this piece here off of it with an axe somehow, some way I did. Right here. Anyways, I don't know what I want to carve. Do I want to carve this piece? There's a thin little wall hanger. I don't even know what to carve on here yet. Maybe a tree inside of a piece of wood or an owl in there. Or do I want to carve this owl? This is a lot of carving to do with a Dremel. This is like a foot by um, four inches by four inches. What I'm going to do first is I'm going to get this to sit flat on the table. You can look by the top. It's well, I don't know if you can tell on camera, but it looks like it's square on the camera. But trust me, it doesn't sit flat. So by the time I get the bottom of this cleaned up, I'll know if I want to carve this or this. I'm like all you guys. Sometimes I just don't know. All right, so let's ishkne ish this piece. Work on this another day. Look at that beautiful cedar. So, you guys can find a piece to see what I did there at the bottom to make it sit flatter. I hold out deeper inside there so it you don't have to sit the whole thing flush. I'm kind of having a brain fart right now. Do I want to draw the owl on? This is a lot of carving too, by the way. And another thing I thought, this is this will be helpful helpful for the very beginners, this carving. Owls are fantasy. You can carve them whatever you want them to be. You can carve them to have eyes this big. You can have, carve them to have eyes this big. You can carve them to have a huge wing. Carve them to have a small wing. Carve them to have a huge head. Carve them to have a small head. This is just to help you open up your mind. I'm having a brain fart if I want. Do I want to? Where's that side here? Where's the nice side that I like? I think it's right here. Do I want to draw it on this flat side or do I want to draw it on right here? Because if you look here, that's the way you're supposed to make the owl head, kind of like that. You start off with that shape right here, this triangle shape. Same with same with the wood spirit. Maybe I should just forget the owl and carve a wood spirit. So, what do I want to do? Sorry, everybody. I should just kind of think on this myself on my own time. But my processing helps you beginner carvers, too. So then if I carve, the, this will be the beak. Then the wing will be here. Then it will be round. Or do I draw it on here? Then I got to make, make that top a try. I'm going to draw it. I'm going to. We're going to do it this way this time. You can do it this way if you want. You know, draw your wing on here and then your beak here. Then you have to slope this top back like, like my hand is like a triangle. Like this here. So there's lots of wood to remove this way. I think this way might have the less wood to remove. So let's just keep running with this live. Stand by. So, and do we want this owl to be sitting on something? Like, do we want to have rocks or anything down here? Where will the head be? We'll put the head right here. And then I think the way I'm doing it is going to be a lot more carving. But that's okay. So we'll have the rocks down here. Have it sitting here. The wing will be here. And then the head. We'll be here. Well, that's the body, sorry. This is the body. Tail comes down here. Head. I just don't know. Okay. Then the wing will come back here. Does that make sense to you? Head, body, wing. Right here. So what I got to do, let's try and make it so we don't have to remove as much wood. There, there's the body. 
What I got to do is remove all this wood here. Maybe do we have to have talons in here? You don't have to have talons, but we'll leave a little spot here for talons. Now I got to remove some of this wood and all this wood right here. Then I got to make this more flat more round this is square so there's a lot of carving to do with this there's a lot of i don't know if i want to do it this way i just don't know no i'm going to do it this way i'm going to not film here but i'm going to carve out all this wood right in here okay so this is all going to be gone Whoosh, like that some of this wood on the side is going to be gone okay and then i'm going to round this part off a bit well, I'll just fit, I'll take out this wood and stuff and then I'll come back because we have to push. This is too square to be a wing. It needs to be round. So there's lots of carving to do on this, but you guys can understand my point right now. It's just, we just got to, so the body st obviously stops right here. Then the wing will, we'll talk about more about that later. I'll clean this whole piece up, get that carved out. I I'm sorry, everybody. I shouldn't even be filming right now. Okay, so I kind of, I, I reverted back to the side view, just like the flat side. I thought it would, might be easier for you, everybody. You know, so it's just, you want you want your owl to have a little bit of movement, not um, so, like, let's see how straight that line is. So I think to create movement in this piece, we'll put his head back here. And then we can go like this for his wing. Does that make sense to you? So that gives you this line here, and then his wing. You can make, you can bring his wing over wherever. It's your fantasy owl. It's how you want to do it, everybody. Okay. So I think what I gotta do now is remove. I'm trying to do this. Like I could do this, take this to my chainsaw shop and cut cut this out in five minutes. But I'm trying to do it with the Dremel and the rotary tools. So you guys can see how to do it, because all you guys don't have uh, rotary tools. I mean chainsaws. So I'm gonna take, I'm gonna remove all this wood all the way through. That's my next step, okay? So what I'll, oops. I'm drawing this line on here, just to, to let myself know that I gotta remove all this wood here, all the way through. Then we can start. I did round off these edges a bit. Not this one, but that took me five minutes to do. So just take your time when you're doing something like this. I also made it so maybe this little silly hooter will have legs. I don't know. I, I haven't done legs too much on owls. I just kind of usually carve it out here and then give them little talons right here. If that makes sense to you. So I'll get that done and I'll be back. Okay, so you can see I've taken off the wood here. For the body, the head, then I remove some wood right here to, so the head will be thinner than the body. You gotta think of owls too. The heads are usually as big as the body on most owls anyways, I think. So you see this place, you don't wanna, you just wanna make it look not so square. Now I gotta think, how do I make it not so square? Well, I gotta, first of all, it's a little bit too wide. And this part here, let me, come on, where's my pen here? So, got this crack here, but that crack will carve that out. There's our center line. So, we kind of, you kind of want it, um, the head here, and then the body comes out, because that will be the wing right here, and then tuck it in. So, and then this will be tucked in like this too, right? So, kind of like this a little bit. But I think the next step, what we'll do, I think it's a it's an important part when you're doing owls. Well, you can see this, that's the wood grain right there, but our center line's here. And then, this is the way Ryan Cook taught me with chainsaw. You go... With your pretend this is our bar, but we don't have a chainsaw bar here, so you go like this, swoosh, swoosh, and then if you look at that, this from up here, 
that would all be cut out. You know, you'd get your bar and swoosh, cut that out. Let's even take this down a little bit lower. So that's what I'm going to do next. I'm going to cut all this wood out right here. And then, and then we got to do, let's actually take it further back. Sorry. Yeah, so all this wood inside here is going to be taken out and it's going to be whoosh, like a nice line because then, well, let, let me just do that next. We got to get rid of this. You know, when I'm doing that, so its wing's going to be here. You guys can bring the wing all the way over if you want. So, you know, your wings connect on the back side too, right? So center line. I know it's hard to see. So your wing will come up. Oh boy. Your wing will come up and over down here, right? You guys can see that. And then this wing will come up and down here too. I'm going to go like this. And then this wing can tuck under this wing can tuck underneath this wing because when you're looking at it at this view you'll see the lap facing this way but it's still really square we got a lot of work to do a lot of rounding to do but let's do this first because once we do this then maybe we can round we can start making because we got to remove a lot of I'm going to remove some of this wood too actually one step at a time let's just do this Okay, okay, so there's the, there's the top view, so you guys know. I'm not filming carving too much on this owl, or this video will be five hours long, but I'm, I'm sure you guys can get it at this point. I will film a bit when I'm doing details on the face or the wings, but what I'm using right now is this cut saw bit. This is the Extreme Flame Burr on the Dremel Flex Shaft. I'm running a Dremel 4000. Anybody wants to get these cut saw burrs, just go to the description below. It will take you to the cut saw site. This is my go-to burr, the flame burr here. So you can see there now, now it's starting to look like an owl, is it not? Or an eagle, if you want. Now this is the steps I was taught to make so your owl face doesn't look so flat. Now you put a line here, let's say um, we'll do a line here. And we'll do a line up here to wherever you want. And then your side view of you pretend this was a chainsaw cut, but we don't have a chainsaw. Like I said, this is a Dremel, right? So we're going to remove all this wood in here. It's kind of tricky trying to convert it from the chainsaw carving to the Dremel carving. But so I'm going to take all this wood, uh, Maybe that's too much. Maybe I should take a little bit less out. Let's see here. No, we got to take a lot out because we still got a lot of rounding to do on this. So let's do that. We'll just take all this wood out here. Maybe not that much over here. All right. Did I do these steps backwards? No, I don't think so. Because then we can still got... Uh, it's how you get your beak to stick off and your face not so round. I think maybe I've done a little bit too much on this part. But anyways, let's just keep having fun and carry on. Okay, I didn't say in the beginning of this video, this this is the wing side. So this is the, the owl looking over top of its wing, right? So here's the wing drawn on. Here's his body. You can see how it's sloped back. We still got to draw the beak on and all that stuff, but I think what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to cut on all these outside of these the wing lines. See here how I got it tucked under? I'm going to cut all these wings out and start. I'm going to round it all, all right? So we'll get these wings to pop off more. We'll round everything and then we can focus on the face. And I'll do this a time lapse, all right? So carry on and um, enjoy the music.
So there's a side view wing here. Wing here. This wing looks a little bit plain for me. I might shape it. Uh, where's the pen here? Um, I don't know. I'll figure something out to do with it. But it just looks a little bit too roundish. So, you know, if I could have, if I would have taken this head over and made it smaller, I could have made this part more, give it more flow like this because they sit like this basically. But this guy's just perched up and whatever. You can see here I made the mistake. This wing's too low than this one. Well, why did I do that? You guys can learn from my mistakes because I did not draw it on properly. I'm not really, I don't care, kind of be leaning back or whatever, and this wing's back wing's lower anyways. So now let's focus on the face. So center line for all your beginning carvers always helps for your reference to have the face in half. So there's our center line. Now at this point, <clears throat> where do we want our beak? Do we want it down here? Yeah, let's put it here. And we're going to draw these lines on. I don't know if you guys notice, but I'm really slowing down on my um, videos. Because I feel like I don't need to rush everything all the time anymore. It's kind of... Some days I kind of just want to take it easy and just kind of... Really... Just enjoy what I'm doing. So we could, we could bring his beak lower... And then you see here, kind of draw these on the same. Now, if we took his beak lower, then we can give him, well, what we're going to do is we'll, we'll put his beak like this. And there's other ways you could do owls too, everybody. This, you know, this isn't, this is kind of the only way that I know. So all this would... We'll make this guy kind of like a fantasy owl. So all this wooden here is going to be removed. And we'll give him little fins up here. Try and draw that on the same. It's good to have everything equal, right? Drawn on. Take your time drawing it on. Because once you take the wood off, it's hard to put on. It's easy to take off, but once you put it... Once you take it off, it's harder to put back on. Okay. So I can see this part needs to come down more. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, we're going to remove some wood underneath this beak. All right. I'll, I'll, I'll hook up my, um, my friggin' microphone that has the noise reduction on it. We'll do it live carving. I'm going to remove all this wood in here. Remove this wood in the beak here, so his eyes will be there. And we're still going to push it back more too. And then I'm going to remove all this wood up in here to make these two things pop off. And then we're going to, we still got to tilt the head back a bit too. But we don't have to. Let's just, I'm going to do a live carving. I'm going to put the tape on my finger. So, you know, I suggest for all you new carvers there, when you're carving with the flex shaft, put some tape around your finger. Even though it's so, I have so much calluses here, it's still dense in when I'm carving hard. Because I'm going to carve this hard and fast, right? So, kind of see what we got there. Oh yeah, and I'll, I'll, do, I'll shape the wing after. Or first, or after, I don't know. So, but you look at the thing now, you see how well your drawing is. Are you happy with what's going on there? Will your beak be low enough? Because I've made it so my beaks are too high and his head's too high. But like I said, everybody, this is just a fantasy owl. You know, it does. this doesn't even need to be owl legs here. Well, we could. Look at that. Boom. Kind of go like this. We'll let, make that look a hollow in there. And then we'll just kind of curve this a bit thinner. And then we'll give him some talon, a talon right here or something. Boom. Look at that. Abracadabra. Okay, so this is kind of tricky. I, I would like to carve this standing up, but I guess I can't. So three, two, one, ignite the fan. Um, let's just do it this way.
Okay, so there's our cuts. Now let's remove all this wood on the outside of the beak. Be careful of that beak, it's getting pretty thin there. something with this wing right now. Let's give us a bit more character. Okay, so you guys can see that. Now let's do this. This point right here is more like this. Then comes up like that. So we're going to remove lots of this wood in here. I know it might be hard for you guys to see, but you guys... You guys get what I'm doing? Okay, now let's remove this wood. Everybody, this is just hard for me to do when I'm filming. So right now what I'm doing is I'm carving end grain, right? So it, it takes longer. Push these wings back a bit farther too.
Now I want to get rid of all the pen. from your beak Let's cut that leg and Don't be a Jordy Push it in a bit. Round this body off a bit. Okay, I need to split these legs. Okay, so we got that side, then this side. Like I said, don't be a Jordy. Draw it on. <laughs> so we got this, goes like this. You know, people aren't gonna look at this, this side and this side at the same time, right? So, is this thing too zoomed in? So we'll just go like this, and like that. Don't be a Jordy. Okay, sorry everybody, I was getting uh, off track there. Okay, stand by. Okay, so here's the back side. You guys can see I cut all the way through the legs to give it some uh, bit, I guess you'd say movement. It also has a tail. This is still pretty square looking owl. You know, maybe it's better for the Dremel carvers to Curve it from like a round branch piece. So now, what do what? I struggle with the legs. I'll take more of this off. I won't make them too thin. I remember I made an owl with super thin legs before. I had to break the legs off. But now, so here's the. I could remove this whole beak thing and carve a barn owl in there. If I removed all of this, you can see the shape of the head back there. So let's let's see how that sloped back like that, right? So now look at the look at the the wings. Look at this back wing. Look at this front wing. But now I have the opportunity. So take a chance. Take advantage of the, your opportunities, everybody, to um, correct your pieces while you can. You know. So this will still be a little bit higher, but we'll take this top part off. I'll, I'll carve this wood off and bring the wing down a little bit more. Um, I'm not really happy with this wing, but it's okay. It is what it is. So I'm going to remove this quickly, and I'll be back. 
Okay, I somewhat refined it a bit, um, making it a bit more rounder. I still could make this wing more rounder, but I think that's that's that will work. That's okay. So now there's the face. You can see how far it sloped back. That's basically what this video is about, how to slope your faces back. Um, now the eyes. Where do you want... So your your beak's going to be here. And then you got your thing above the beak kind of right here. That makes sense. I don't. I usually don't do the best beaks. Well, because I just don't. So then we're going to go like this. Like this here. And that's... This side of the face, you see this, this side of the face is pushed back more of an angle than this side of the face. This side of the face is still square, but we'll try and sort that out when we're doing the carving. I'll try, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll work on that myself. So I just try and make this side the same as this side and they're not the same this one needs to be more this way so what i'm going to do is i'm going to cut on the bottom of these lines and remove the wood to make this part of the eye seem elevated okay so we cut on the out the bottom of the line all the way around Remove this wood underneath here, and then we'll talk about pushing the eyes back, sucking, um, pushing, the, rounding them off on the inside. And we'll cut this beacon after too. Okay. So. I kind of went a little bit crazy, so everybody, I did taper this back farther, so it looks more equal to that one. I carved the beacon. All I did is cut straight across with the same cut saw burr, straight across, straight across, and tapered it back. I'll show you a side view. So now's the time. You just kind of also with this wing. I didn't like this shape. Like I wish I would have brought it more rounder over here. It's kind of straight here. So I'm just speaking out loud. What I did because I didn't like that straightness here. I kind of took some wood off here, so it kind of gives it a nice curve. But now is when you kind of just sit back, drink your coffee, drink your water, whatever you got, have a puff, have a drink, and you look at your owl and you think, how does it look? Well, I've already done that, and I know that this side right here, this cut, this thing thing right here is higher than this one, and this one is a little bit lower than this one. So now is the time where you want to do the corrections. But tell you the truth, it's probably been like two hours working on this. I'm kind of sick of working on this owl. Much rather be carving wood spirits. Um, anyways, carry on. Bathroom break. You guys remember the beginning of this video when I said owls are whatever you want them to be? Damn right they're fantasy. Carve whatever you want. That's what I... <laughs> That's what I do when I get bored of something. I veer off and carve a wood spirit face or whatever it is. Weird alien, man. <laughs> so, now, um, I think I'm going to leave. I don't know if I'm going to. I shouldn't have carved this beacon yet because this should really be pushed in so it scoops in. So maybe I'll scoop. See how it's rounded that way? It should be scooped in the other way. But I think what I'm going to do now is draw the pattern for the wings on. So we'll go like this. And this is just your basic pattern. So we got the, these ones will go across this way. These ones will come down this way. We'll do two down. 
and then we'll do long ones like this. And that's tucking underneath that wing. So then you got to do on the front, you got to do on the back. So I'll um, draw it on the back and then I'll, we'll do a live carving of this. I'm going to start off with the, with these, this three point cutter. Go like this for undercut. All these stages, then and then I'll come in and taper them off with a different burr, possibly with my um, ramp carver that you guys helped me buy. And this uh, cuts all tapered burr to fe feather everything off. Okay, let's start off with the undercut, separating these two wings. When I carry the, so undercut here, because when I carry this line on, it can tuck underneath that wing. Undercuts are pretty important in uh, wood carving, in my opinion. Okay. And you see how I'm sloping this bird not straight on? I'm tucking it under, doing an undercut when I'm using it. See how I moved my finger off, my thumb off to the side in case this thing kicked? <laughs> okay, now we'll use this taper burr. So the more burrs that you guys have and different carvers Oops. The faster your carving will go. Now I'm trying to get all the pen off the carving. Okay, now we'll just do, we won't work on this top part yet, well since we got this burr in here, we'll kind of do, um, I want my feathers to be overlapping this way, like fish scales, so, let's see here, um, let's give them some little curves. Everything's always my opinion. Okay, so stay down here. Try and offset them a bit. See, because I did that undercut under there so I can... T get these curves up under there too, right? So we'll just clean them up.
We'll get rid of those fuzzies after. Stand by. So I got this little aluminum cutting burr. Let's just do kind of, oops, wrong pedal. Let's kind of do uh, Chris, oops, wrong pedal. Let's do crosses. any straight cuts just cross some kind of okay so that's good so uh i'm gonna get the back feather done and i'll be back the back wing all right so here you go these are a little bit aggressive but it's okay you know i don't do the real patterns for wings like bird hairs so if you're gonna do real like bird hair patterns just these like burn your little hairs in and stuff like studio and like each wing would probably take two days. So there's that. Okay. It says it's a wing. Now these eyes. Oh boy. How much do I want to scoop these in? Because I've already carved this thing. If I got to carve, I, I like the shape of it right now. I like the way it is right now. Maybe I can just leave it the way it is. But I think I should probably scoop those in a bit more. Um, what I'm going to do is, yeah. So, see there, right now, they're this way. When I'm done, inside, they're going to be this way. I won't film. <sighs> ah. See all those undercuts on those feathers give you good uh, shadows. Now it's I can still push it in more, scoop it in more, but that's okay, the way it is now. I think what I'll do before I do the eyes is, well, talons here. What am I gonna do? I kind of like. This is kind of like a total fantasy piece, obviously, duh. I kind of like this as a long, spooky kind of talon right here. Kind of looks like a big talon coming down there. Icicle or something. But, so, they have the back talon. Right? Like a thing there. Then they have front talon so these talons I'm not really too sure what I'm gonna do I'll probably carve them off not filming I need to concentrate, but I probably will use this aluminum, this uh, cheap Chinese cutter. Then I'll use a, a burr, a friggin' thing thing burr, like a diamond burr, to burn inside there. One like this, a dull, dull cone diamond burr. This is good for burning when you're using the faster um, thing micro motors. These burn pretty good. I don't know how well these talons are going to look, but I'm going to try. They don't turn out that good. I, I just kind of really don't care. Then I got to go along and I got to detail all the furs on here, all the hairs with that aluminum cutting bit that I, that I did um, this with. So I don't need to show you that. And I'm just going to go across this way. All the way around. Then the, think that the hairs on the legs they'll come down so they'll be up this way so the body sideways then here up and down
yeah, the talon looks funny. The talons look funny compared to the size of the leg. Don't care. These ones look funny too. Don't care. So I kind of went into a little bit of a carving frenzy here. There's the back. There's his tail. Should be a bit thinner. Don't care. So there's the slope. That's basically what I wanted to show on this video is that slope. How to slope that back. And here's the front view. So, one thing when I did the burning with that bit, that diamond bird that I told you guys, now this beak looks off because I burnt it. So I kind of see a beak. Let me get this pen here. I kind of see this beak coming off here like that and get ri getting rid of all this wood in here. If I can pull that off, then we'll call it like an eagle eagle owl kind of deal thing. See, remove all this wood in here and give it a real crazy beak. If I can pull it off without breaking it, got to use a very fine, 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 fine burr. Like, um, like, uh, this cut saw one with it's super fine. Yeah. Okay. 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 I even gave him one of those um, owl um, food bib things, whatever they are. Boy, oh boy, oh boy, have I ever sucked in a lot of cedar today, let me tell you. Sneezing and coughing and hacking. So there it is. Oh yeah, I went uh, crazy carving. When you guys weren't looking and I carved some hollow spots in the eyes there. I usually use a spade bit to do that, but I couldn't find a spade bit the right size for these big glass owl eyes that uh, Sticks and Stones sent me. So let's get these eyes set in there. There's one. And there's two. Now look at this. Now look at the hooter. Look how that eyes make that pop. Thanks for those eyes, Kev. So, you know, I say on lots of my videos, <clears throat> excuse me. Oh boy, you don't need to put a finish on your carvings. I like this too. It looks like the owl's kind of sucking up this guy's head. It's got his towel in there and it's sucking up the head there. Just artistic stuff. That's what I was thinking. Just open your mind and just go with the flow and have a good time. That's kind of what I did with this. Um, I say on lots of my videos, you don't need to, um, let's actually, let's do a screenshot here right now for the cover photo. Stand by. Okay, sorry about that. I say on lots of my videos, I like this, man. I might keep this one myself. Um, I say on lots of my videos, you don't need to put a finish on your wood carvings, indoor, outdoors. You know, if you like the way it looks, the way it is now, then just keep it the way it is now. There's no need to change it, right? So, that leg's a bit thicker. I like to point out my mistakes. Um, so, what we're going to do is give it a water test. You know, and if I like the way it goes, so this is old western red cedar, first growth means it was naturally it fell from a seedling and no man planted it. So if it looks good, when I put the water test on it, then once it dries a, a day or two later, then I'll put a clear coat on it. If I don't like the way it looks after I put the water on it, I'll just leave it natural. So let's try it. These glass eyes aren't glued in, so they're fine just like that. So you'll see the natural color of the wood that you're using from this water test. And then give it a few minutes to soak in. It will go a bit darker. <clears throat> oh, I kind of like it. I kind of like it with the uh, color on it. Makes those eyes really pop, doesn't it? <clears throat> so 
So let's give this a minute for um, things to dry a bit. See if it goes a bit darker. But there's western red cedar for you. And I'm surprised I carved the edge. This is edge green. See? If you carve face green, you'd be carving through the layers. But this whole piece was, well, that part was edge green. See how the old cracks kind of give it character? I, I myself, I like it. I don't like all my carvings. I tell you that much for sure, but I like this one. Anyways, we'll end this here. This guy's kind of, so it'll be on somebody's coffee table and it'll be looking up at them. Let's see if it looks down. No, it's up because the eyes are sloped more this way too. But if I cut the bottoms deeper, I could have put them straight in, but I like it the way it is. So it looks up at you. Hello, how you doing today? That's it, everybody. I hope you've learned something from this video. And um, take it easy, have fun, be safe, and carve deeper, you know, like. Okay, so we'll just leave this one here. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. Um, I appreciate yeah, all the support that you guys give me by the comments. If you like this video, please hit that thumbs up. If you want to leave a comment i love reading the comments I, I can't reply to all of them all the time but i do my best i, sh I at least let you know that i've seen it and i read it so i hope you have fun i hope you learned a tip or two off this video about carving an owl and um just have fun just think let your mind go and be a free spirit that's what it is free spirit wood carving carving fusion over and out ooh, ooh.